morning. Today is Thursday. It's April 21st. It's still the morning. I'm so surprised that we came out of the house early. We are on our way to uh, one of the North Carolina aquariums. There's apparently three. And we are going to the Pine Knoll location. It's just going to be the six of us. My sister-in-law, brother-in-law, and my nephew are not here today. They're at work and my nephew's at school. They do have a daughter and she's in college, so you haven't been seeing her on the video. Anyway, so yes, we're on the way to the aquarium. It's just a perfect day for us to go and have another long, full day. We're here. It took about like same time, like about 15 minutes to get here. This is Pine Knoll's location. This is where we are, Cape Carteret, and where we were yesterday was in Buford at the Maritime Museum. Walking in and passing the waterfalls, you see large tanks of fish, different freshwater fish. These are the mountain trouts. are resting in this corner. They're like playing around and grooving each other. Look, they have a living shimmer. Oh, that's nice to see. Oh, look at that one floating up here. Can I see you guys? Hello. There's one floating right on the surface. He knows how to take a picture. My mom sitting on the turtle. <laughs> uh oh. Alright. <laughs> and here's a shot of the section that we're in right now with the turtles and the snakes. Oh, look, the snake is moving. Let's take a look at it. He's entertaining us right now. Gators, they don't grow as fast or as big in warmer climates. Horseshoe crabs don't bite and they don't sting and they don't poop. Look, there's a hermit crab over there. So horseshoe crabs have been around since before there were dinosaurs. That's a really long time, isn't it? Is it? And they haven't changed much in all that time. They still look pretty much the way they've always Are the sea urchins? Yeah. Can you touch them or they're too prickly? Yeah. They're too prickly. Touch them, but don't pick them. Okay. This is what they. So they're white urchins and purple urchins. Uh huh. And they're pencil urchins. For the pencil urchins, the ones that have the bigger spines. Oh, okay. I see, like right here. Yeah. This is one. This is what. This is the. Huh? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Touch it again. And there's different, well, you know, like which way the door opens. <laughs> 
The slate pencil urchin is the one we saw in the corner with the bigger um, points. Yeah, sure. Here, I think that's one right there. I said you can touch it, but don't pick it up. Okay. Just turn it upside down, just gently though. <laughs> it's heavy? Okay. Alright, leave it alone. Maybe it's buried oh, in the sand. Let's go to the okay, you can leave it alone then. The list of different kind of shells that you can identify inside the cabinet. That one Yeah. And they have it numbered. So you're not like trying to find figure out what they are. We'll Look, we found a lot of these, right? On the beach? Yeah, we found a lot of those. Mm -hmm. There's shark teeth in this display, but we didn't find any on the beach. We found some of those white uh -huh. The sand dollars, we did. Oh, that's pretty cool. What's that? Number 27? That's a giant ton. That one right there that doesn't have the giant ton? Oh, that's slimy. It's slimy? Here's a cool exhibit showing how baby turtles hatch from the nest and then go um, and make their way to the beach or to the water. Uh, that is a cute display. It looks real. Catherine showed me the snapping turtle here in the corner. Oh it's gosh, she's huge. One. This is so sad. There's only one. Oh. I didn't see any other oh. one. It's so still looks fake, even the fishes in the back. Go ahead, Catherine, tell us what you know. I saw it over there. Uh huh. Yeah, they're egg. These long noses gar eggs are poisonous. So, so the long noses eggs are yeah. poisonous? Okay. Alright, so you can't have them for caviar. <laughs> oh no, there's a huge hermit crab. Ah! Oh, this is a porcupine fish. Oh. So I'm going to show you a real cool part of this aquarium. And I thought the beginning was cool. This is even cooler. Megalodon shark jaws, and this is the reproduction. This is the end of the aquarium. It's not big, but it's full of things to see. It's unique. They have good displays here. 
to have this huge tank. I haven't figured out yet how many gallons are inside here, but I'm gonna ask. And at the end, they have the gift shop. Let's go see what they have. Oh, that's cool. The shark side. <laughs> and here's another one, the Darth Gator. We're always on the hunt for refrigerator tags and I see them over here. I think Joe already got it. So which one are we choosing? And Serena likes this, the floaty turtle. Oh, we can get both. Look at both. Much. It's cheap. This is our signature where we go places and we buy a refrigerator magnet. So on our refrigerators, you see a whole bunch of magnets and we'll have been. Read, read this. You like that one? Oh yeah, because the turtle, the baby turtle's what moving to the to the ocean. Oh, that's cute. Shark, do, 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 do. Okay. All right. So I love the earrings, and these are solid sterling silver. And what kind of glass? <laughs> uh, it's fire sea glass. Fire sea glass. Oh, nice. It has black in the back, which I'm not really fond of. I'd rather have it the same pattern as front and back. But these are cute. Um, Twenty-five dollars, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get these yet. Oh, they're pretty. I actually like these more than the um, than the other ones. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, there's even a snake, a snake ring. The earrings and the jewelry in this case are brass, and they're dipped in rhodium. Yeah, and they have a lifetime guarantee on it. All right, so Serena's not wanting to say it on camera. But this is a what? A tracker? It says each bracelet tracks a sea turtle. Track a shark with each bracelet. Why does it say here sea turtle? Maybe those are different. Okay. Anyway, it feels like a, a real stone. How much are these? $19? Basically. Um, they're bracelets that are connected to a shark or a sea turtle and it tracks them. What? I told her she couldn't get it unless she spoke on, on Each video. Each bracelet tracks a shark. Please. What this shark? One, well, this one's a shark. I guess if the, the stone is a shark, then it's a shark. This one's a turtle, so it does a turtle. So which one do you want? This one. The pink Sh one? Shark? Shark. Okay. Uh, tell me, what is it? It's an axolotl. An axolotl. It's a salamander. It's a salamander. She wants this, okay. All right, so salamander or axolotl for Catherine. The bracelet that tracks a shark for Serena. And what about for Camille? Oh, baby and alligator. His daddy wants the baby alligator. <laughs> One dollar. This is the necklace I chose. I wanted earrings, but they ran out of this style. With this opalite, is that what you call it? Opalite. Opalite. Oh, there we go. So I decided to get this opalite necklace. Yeah, it's cute. I wanted the earrings, but they didn't have any more. So this is twenty-eight dollars for the necklace. What is this place? Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me go around. This is cool. All right. Let me go back out, and I'm gonna take a picture of you. Ooh. Here's the necklace that I just got, and it's opalite. Look how pretty it is. I wish I had came with a matching earrings. It's really classic. You can go with any outfit. So basically, it comes right here, and then the way it works is you rip it open, and then there's a card right here. Let me get my card. This is the card, and then you open it, and it tells you what your shark is named. Oh, nice. And like a little bit about them, and then you uh -huh. can scan it right here. Oh. And what that leads to is. The, oh, they're in the, Florida. Yeah. That's where my shark is right now. Where are they exactly? Huh? And the. It looks like Gulf of Mexico, but. No, it's Florida. Yeah, but the, on, the, on the land, the ocean. That's where they are right now. Leaving the aquarium, we had a really fun day. It wasn't like, it, it didn't take long to go through the aquarium, but we are tired from all the days of walking. 
And so it's almost two o'clock. The kids are getting hungry again. There's actually a Dairy Queen right outside, so we're gonna go have a snack. And so if you buy the passes for the day, you can actually come back as long as you have those passes and valid for the whole day. And we were considering that, but I think we're just gonna leave after and possibly head home. We've just been walking for so many days and I think we need a, we need a break. Can I see? They have the paper straw. That looks pretty cool. And it's not flimsy. And what'd you get, Catherine? You got a shake? Vanilla shake? Daddy got a cone, perfectly shaped. Ooh, take a bite. No. <laughs> and then Camille got the hot triple chocolate brownie. Oh, it is very chocolatey. Mmm. <laughs> We're leaving the aquarium, and just one last thing that we see here: there is a bridge and a pond with turtles in it. I thought they were fake, but they're actually, they're real the life turtles. turtles. Yeah. Maybe those uh, turtles there that are hatching, they put them here. So there's a few small ones in here. And on the other side, two big ones. That ends our trip here at the North Carolina Aquarium located at Pine Knolls. We are now headed over to Fort Macon. It's an old fort. Um, we're gonna go see that area and do another adventure for the day. You can see, you can see this area is called Butterfly Highway. It's meant to attract butterflies. Right now there isn't one that we can see. grocery shopping and my brother-in-law cooked some hamburgers some sausage and pork chops and hot dogs so that's what we're having for dinner and then my sister-in-law cut up some tomatoes and lettuce for the topping hey guys I almost forgot to end this vlog I just wanted to say that this was a very very full day again from walking in the aquarium and then walking on the beach I'm completely exhausted Last night, I was awake until 2 o'clock, and then I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning. I was doing late night editing, so all that walking wiped me out. I eventually just got tired of vlogging in the evening. So anyway, this ends my VEDA day 6. Tomorrow is VEDA day 7. I did start vlogging on Saturday of last week, and I consider that day 1. Tomorrow is day 7, Friday, April 22. So that would make 7 days of VEDA, but I'm going to go beyond that a little bit more, but I just won't post it on a daily basis. I'll save those two vlogs, the Saturday and Sunday vlog, for another day, because I try to post twice a week on my channel. Anyway, I'm going to get my rest. It's already past 11 o'clock. Tomorrow we're planning to go strawberry picking sometime in the mid-afternoon and then my husband wants to go to another thrift store early in the morning and then probably just spend the rest of the evening with my family. So this ends VEDA 2022, a week of VEDA 2022, day 6. Thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed these vlogs. I've had fun doing it. It is hard work, but it's something I love to do. Have a good night, guys. Bye.